Good evening, world. America, Nigeria, Europe, everywhere. You can see us live. This is Emilio Rubile, and I am proud to say that I am a member of this magnificent group that we're about to hear about tonight. The Nigerian Women Association of Georgia. Hey. Women full of intelligence, caliber, and integrity. But most importantly, these are women who are giving back to their country, giving back to this country, giving back to the underprivileged women and children. You see, you do more in numbers, and I believe that is the reason these women came together, just so they could capture more people, do more for the world. So I am a very proud member of our Nigerian member Nigerian Women Association of Georgia. And and I hope that with this interview of um, our, of our president and our secretary, you'll get a lot more information that will encourage you as a Nigerian woman to join and husbands to allow their wives to join so that we can give back to our country in big ways, not just in small ways. So with that, please permit me to introduce to you tonight the Nigerian Women Association of Georgia. Yes, yes. round of applause. Yes. 15 years of service. And still can't. Give yourself another round of applause. That is <laughs> phenomenal. Women staying together for 15 years and accomplishing great things. Give yourself another round of applause. That's a great feat. That's a great accomplishment. So with this now, I love to introduce to you. I said I didn't say like. I love to introduce to you my members. And starting on my left is my most able president, two-year term server. In fact, we would love for her to be a five or ten or fifteen year oh, yeah, right. serve. But unfortunately, we can only serve two years. And our first NWAG of the year, Woman of the Year Award with the NWAG um, membership. Please, my president, engineer, yes, we have brains, not just beauty. <laughs> engineer, Mrs. Abby Ebadage. Yes. yes. Thank you so much. Good evening. And we have our secretary and... You know, I don't know how you all that have organizations do your minutes and all your information being sent to your group. But our, our secretary, I have to brag, brings her laptop. <laughs> and she is typing the minutes as the meeting is going on. That is a great talent to have. That's why I tell you, our women, we ju not just any woman, no. our women in our organization, Full of talent, beauty, and brain. That's why we have Dr. Stella Etta. <laughs> Stella Beautiful. How about that? Thank As our you. executive secretary to the chain to um to NWAG. So, my president. Yes. Why don't let's take us 15 years back how this great organization came to be. Okay, 15 years ago, Mrs. Dyer Keshi, who was the Consul General's wife at the time. They were posted in Atlanta. And she came up to about five ladies and said, you know what, let us start an organization that we can give back to the less privileged. And we were all very excited. We were very excited about this because we've never done anything like this in Atlanta. Just women coming together. And uh, I called some of my friends and the other four ladies called their friends and now, NWAG is a household name. Since then, a lot of members, hardworking members, you know, people that are determined to do more for the less privileged have joined the organization. And we're close to 80 members and still wow. counting. <laughs> wow. And speaking of membership, can somebody just walk up and join, or what are the criteria for being a member? I'll, I'll have that question for Dr. Starr. Dr. Starr. Dr. Starr. Okay, yes. thank you. Anyway, the criteria is, uh, we have a very rigorous criteria. You have to observe any interested Nigerian born female or married to a Nigerian. You have to observe four meetings. And we also have the membership, um, uh, what do you call it again? Committee. 
the membership committee takes care of that. So you have to observe four meetings and then uh, get to know NWAC. That's a very good thing to have. So during the get to know NWAC, that's when you have questions answered. Any kind of question, any question you have about NWAC, anything that you want clarified about NWAC. So that's done during the get to know NWAC. And we have the orientation as well. Orientation is very important. We're not just making it difficult. We work very hard. So we want to be sure that you know what you're getting into. So in essence, NWAG is not just an organization that you just decide you want to join mm -hmm. um, to not do anything. Because from my experience, you have to make the time. You have to have the time. Just because you don't have the time yet, it's not mean that you really don't want to. So there is a, a right time to there join. There is a right time. Because some yes. people come with, uh, if you have little kids, it's probably going to be difficult. For you. We have members that when they had little kids, it wasn't the right time for them. But when their kids grew up, then they, you know, they figure out that was the right time to join NWA because we really work. It's a service organization. So we are hands-on. We work really hard. So that's why our criteria is so rigorous to follow. Now, I know we have a fundraising. Of course, we, can't, we don't do a lot of these things out of, our, out of our, our pocket, a lot of the responsibilities that we're charged with. Now, that brings me to ask our president, and please join in too, Dr. Starr. Um, what are, who are some of the people, where are some of our monies going to? Okay, that we um, actually it goes to several places. And one of the things we did consciously was that we're not just taking all the money to Nigeria. We also do a lot of, we support a lot of um, non-profit here in Atlanta. And we have seven of them that we support. And they are Southside Medical mm -hmm. Center, mm -hmm. Sickle Cell Foundation, International Women's House, Jose Feed the Hungry, MedShare International, Atlanta Food Bank, and last year we added Susan G. Coleman wow. to it. And then in Nigeria, we do support, we give scholarship to one female student in every single state, which is 36 states plus the federal capital territory. So we give 37 scholarships every year. And this year, NWAG is embarking on his own first medical mission. Yay! Give we're, yourself yes. a round of applause. We're yes. going to be going to Oshun State, and we've been invited by Oshun State, so we'll be there this year. And after that, we go to Abuja to have a, a award ceremony. Award. And we also support 11 orphanages in Nigeria now. As of 2014, we added one more. Wow. To so go we're busy. Wag. busy. Go and wag. And that's why one really has to think, is this the right time for mm -hmm. me? Now, I know you mentioned the medical mission. I also know that we assist MedShare, and we also ship containers. Yes. What's our number? How many containers, and what's the worth right about now, Dr. Starr? I think we've shipped over a million dollars worth of medical wow. supplies to Nigeria. Wow. Yes. And, that is, and that's about how many states? I think we've hit about 11, 11 or so. States. 11, 11 states. states so already. Yes. And we're still taking in um, applications for more states. And our so goal is to reach every state in Nigeria. All so 36 plus goal. the federal capital. Yes. Correct. Now, how do we raise our funds? I know we have the June event. How... What, what are our expectations? How much do we, do we actually average per year? Mm -hmm. And where do we really want to get to? Okay. Uh, uh, annual fundraising effort, we raise up to over $100,000 now. In one year. In, in one, one year. year. Mm -hmm. Wow. And uh, most of the funds is um, mainly distributed to all the different charities that I mentioned earlier and all the different projects okay. that we have. And we try, we're also trying to raise funds for what we call the NWAG house. Mm -hmm. And we're hoping that sometime this year or early next year will be a reality mm -hmm. because we've been doing this for almost over four years and we've raised some money, but we're not quite there yet. So, um, so that NWAG can have a house yes, where we can place. go have our mm -hmm. meetings and we An are, events. you know, right now we'd like to also um, recognize the Consul General of Nigeria, Ambassador Teni Labe. He's been yes. wonderful. Very and uh, we do meet there monthly. At the consulate. At the consulate mm -hmm. office in, in Sandy Springs, Georgia. He's actually the only Consul General that has allowed us to even have our meetings there. That's yes, wonderful. that's correct. And he's been very, very warm to NWAG because he saw, he sees what we're doing. And he's a great supporter of NWAG. And we want to get to a point that we have our own place where we can meet 
and hopefully maybe do some of our fundraising efforts there as well. Yes. So. Yeah, I'm going to get back to the NWAG House later because I think it's a very important, um, some very important facts that we need to let the public know why we have to have one. But let me um, ask Dr. Starr. We've, we, during the June event, which I'd like to expand more on, when exactly is our June event? Let uh, the June event, know. Yes. usually, uh, mm -hmm. June event is uh, the end of June, the last Saturday in June, which everybody in Atlanta knows. Yes. But this year, we're sorry to say, we had to move it a week forward because of, I think, uh, conflict in scheduling. So this year, our June event will actually take place on June 20th. Mm -hmm. And it starts at 7 p.m. and we do not do African time. We are always on time. People know us for that. So we're a very structured organization. We're very serious in what we do. So we start on time. And um, yes, 7 p.m. 7 okay, p.m. So and, and dinner is at, at 8. 8. So if you want to eat dinner, please be on time. Yes, otherwise you either get the scraps, the <laughs> leftovers, or in fact, we were told by the fundraising chair that if you miss dinner, you're going to have it in a to-go bag. And that's not very classy. It's that's not. a classy affair. You're mm -hmm. having your very best evening wear, and you're carrying a to-go styrofoam. No. So dinner will be served on time. In fact, hope, most times we are just about 15 minutes late. Uh, we yeah, we try not to be late. Yes. But Even if it's 10 people not, in the Yeah, it, the that's, start. that's right. So whether they are just 10 people in the room, we start because we, we value your time. Now, we give several awards during our June event. Mm -hmm. We give the Friend of Nigeria Award, yes. the Woman of Valor Award, and the Unsung, Unsung Hero, and several others. Several we, others. I think yes. there's a committee and we decide, mm -hmm. what are some of the criteria for, I'd like to do the Woman of Valor how do we go and select who becomes a woman of valor? And then you can do the Friend of Nigerian okay. Unsung Hero. Okay. For woman of valor, we look at a female Nigerian that is doing or impacting their community. Okay. Um, taking care of the less privileged, orphans, we know, women, widows, you know, and all of that. So we look at that mainly in Nigeria or any woman here in America as well, but Nigerian woman. And... Uh, over the years, we've recognized a lot of women that are impacting their community in a positive way. Right. Because some people have the wealth, but they don't think of the less privileged. And we have some people that are doing all they can to make all this less privileged or most of the less privileged life better by supporting them, giving them scholarship, or helping widows to get started, or um, funding them to do... Um, small businesses mm -hmm. and uh, last year a woman of valor was uh, the first lady of Ogun State mm -hmm. okay. and uh, Mrs. Amosun and um, over the years we've selected several women that are doing yes. the same thing Please in Nigeria. Please name some of them. Both. We yeah. have the first lady of mm -hmm. Abia State. Abia State. Mm -hmm. We also have um, Dr. Dara Washika was also Awashika, one of them. Yes. Dr. Uh, Mercy <laughs> Obeme. <laughs> She's Obeme based was, in yeah. Indianapolis mm -hmm. and um, we also have uh, Mrs. Obemidir, first lady mm -hmm. of Quara State. Yes. Yes. Sorry. Right. Yeah. Mrs. Um, and we've had some other awardees like Senator Chris Ayamu. Ayamu and, yeah. and most of our awardees actually do attend and they do come and accept the awards. And for they're always person. very impressed by yes. what we do, what yes. a group of women are able to do. Exactly. Because it, we're supporting their effort and we also like for them to reverse, do, do the reverse um, gratitude to us as well. Yes. Now, Friend of Nigeria. What is the purpose of that award? Okay, Friend of Nigeria is a little different. Since we live in America, our, our home away from home, <laughs> we try to um, recognize and award somebody that has done something for Nigeria. So the Friend of Nigeria award could be male or female, but you must impact or they must have impacted um, the Nigerian community, either here or back home in Nigeria. So that's how we select a Friend of Nigeria. So it does not, it's not a Nigerian has to be, um, you know, it does not have to be American, but non-Nigerian that has done something of impact to the Nigerian community. Okay, excellent. And the unsung hero, either one of you. Okay, unsung hero is, uh, like the name implies, somebody mm -hmm. that is doing something in their community as well that a lot of people do, uh, do not know about. They are doing something quietly in their community to impact, and then it aligns with what are, 
believe is. So it has to impact women or children in the community. So somebody, maybe a little unknown or doing something that a lot of people do not know about, but equally important in the community as well. Good. Now, um, the monies we raise, of course, we say we divvy up them up to um, support all of our projects that we do. But more in particularly, the young women that receive our awards, our scholarship awards. What actually encouraged us to do that? I know it was something from the beginning, but why did we decide and continue to fund some of these women? And what are some of the success stories? Yeah, um, the reason we thought about doing this years ago, I think we started in, in 2001, and we felt like if a father or a parent has some little change, some little money, they will rather educate the male child than the female child because they believe that the female is going to end up in a husband's house anyway. So we thought, what better way to help our female students in Nigeria to get an education and not end up on the streets? Because some of the stories we've heard, I mean, a lot of the young ladies in Nigeria or most places in the world, they sell their bodies to get money. Sugar daddies. Yeah, sugar daddies. Several a lot of them. Of them a yeah. lot of them. And some of the essays we read also tells us that, too, and it's still happening. And not but, only that, not to interrupt you, but I also want to in interject in there that a lot of them are orphans themselves. Mm -hmm. that's true. I experienced even some when I, when I went for the last, the, the one award, yes. a few of them were crying that they have absolutely no one to support them, no parents at all. And these are mm -hmm. students or girls that really want to do better. So sometimes they have no options but to sell themselves just to have enough money for tuition or for, uh, for school fees so some of the things they do is not that they want to do them i don't think they enjoy selling their bodies to sugar daddies uh, dairy old men mm -hmm. but i think they do those things because you know they really want to improve their lives and the lives of their family so whatever little way we can help by providing scholarships for them to be able to pay school fees that's what we try to do and the scholarship is open to all 36 states at the federal capital. So yes, how do correct. we go about getting these women to apply? Um, early in the year, mm -hmm. we tried to get it out, the announcement early. We, we as members decide on an essay topic, mm -hmm. and we post the essay topic on, the, on, the web, on our website and also in the Nigerian newspaper. And we let them know that, you know, is open and there's some requirements that go with it, which means you have to show us a need that you really need the scholarship, write an essay, and then we ask for three recommendation letters and a photo ID. And this is mainly to female students, but you'd be surprised, some male students um, submit the applications as yes. well. Uh, <laughs> Especially if they have a, a name that's, I don't, what's that's the unisex. proper, yeah, unisex, unisex. Name, I thought it was bisexual, I don't know, a bisexual oh, oh, name. No, 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 no. it's called unisex, unisex. okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, because some of them, especially some Yoruba names, you can't tell if it's male or female, but the picture tells us a lot. <laughs> so we ask for pictures as well. And what we do, we try not to be biased on our end when we're grading the scholarship. And what we do is that you cannot grade your own state, That's number right. one, and you cannot grade your husband's state. Right. And um, so if you're from the north, you grade from the south. If you're from the east, you grade from the west we do that we mix yes, it all up yes. so that we're fair to everybody yeah because i think I'm, I'm from oweri right i'm from emo so i got kalaba and kogi Cookie. okay yes, yes. so that's <laughs> so, the way we do it every and year i'll never great uh, cross, <laughs> cross river cross never. Cross oh, no you yes. can never see your state so that's the way we do it to be fair because a lot of people don't know exactly how we grade and we pick the highest score which means you have to have all the recommendation letters we ask for, all the requirements met. And you? Y yeah. Yes. And then and the they, essay has to be good, too. Yes. <laughs> so how do the people in Nigeria then get the information that this we have, this this is open now, you know? We put it in the newspaper. Okay, we put it in the newspaper. Nigerian newspapers. newspapers. And then we have and it on website. our website. And our website as well. Now, we also have gift scholarships here in the, in the in U.S., Yes. in Atlanta. So tell me yes, about that. Yes, we started that recently, more recently than we started the scholarships in Nigeria. How many do we, we have so far? How many have we given so far? About 42? About 42. 42. Okay, mm -hmm. about 42. And then we, we thought, since we live in the U.S., it would make sense to give scholarships to some of our uh, students living in the U.S. And that's open to both male and female students. Yes. Uh, you have to be... 
You have to have finished high school and getting ready for college to apply for that. Okay, so what this means to all of you that are listening, if you're not an NWAB member, because that's not open to NWAB members. That's not members, open so to NWAB member, member children. Yes. yes. But for Nigerian one, it's open to just virtually everybody and anybody. If you know you have a niece or a sister or whoever that's a, a you know you know university, they can send them the information. Have them um, go to our website nwag.org, nwag.org, and have them apply. And I believe that the time the information is sent went about during a year. When do we send out the information? Well, we and send when the we information announce? out yes. early. And then we announce the, the scholarships in Georgia. We announce it during our June event, which will be in a couple of weeks. And then the one in Nigeria, you still have time to apply because the, the scholarship award ceremony in Nigeria is not until October. This so year. when is the deadline for the Nigerian one? The deadline for the is Nigerian... Is, I think it's close. I think it's, it's, it's close already, close, right? May 31st. I'm sorry. May 31st. May, yes, May 31st. So okay. we have enough time to prepare for to the... Grade. Mm -hmm. right. To grade and then get... Uh, but when do we open it up? So that February. It, like February. This February, year we did yeah. it very early okay. in February. Mm -hmm. So, audience, do we have it from February to sometimes in May? Mm -hmm. You'll have the information about, about the NWAC scholarship for Nigeria. Mm -hmm. or And then and for, yeah. the, for, and then for the US also. And then surprisingly... A lot of people in Nigeria still do not believe that we do this. So they don't apply. Yes. So please try, you know, find out the information and apply. Because people think, how can these women in, uh, in the it's U.S. Not, care about us in Nigeria? That cannot be true. And they think it's 419. Or, you know, so a lot of students still do not apply. They still don't believe that we're doing this. So please, if you get the information, we read in the newspaper. And it's free. Make sure you're not paying for the application. It's free. Okay. And I have a story on that. Yes, go ahead. I was reading one of the essays, and she mm -hmm. said, oh, I got this information from a friend, and I don't think it's true. I think mm -hmm. it's 419. So what I did, <laughs> I took time and called her uh -huh. in Nigeria yes. and told her, this is real. This is real. We've been doing this for so many years, and this is real. She was so surprised right. that, wow, called all the way from Nigeria. But that's just the way we are. We let you know that. We are for real. And long time ago, like uh, Dr. Stella said, people were charging people for mm -hmm. to get the application form. So we had to put it on there. Application Disclaimer. is yes. free. Yes. We don't charge you to apply. So don't pay anyone to apply for the scholarship. Okay. Now, we do have a success story from, the, uh, yes. uh, from our scholarship awards. We actually have one of our students that have succeeded, and she's here in the country. Let um, our president elaborate on that. Um, we have Dr. Stella Onyewu. I might not be pronouncing her last <laughs> name correctly, but um, she won. She is the only one, I think, so far that's won a scholarship about four or five times. Wow. She's very brilliant. And over the years, I kept in touch with her. And one time I went to Nigeria, she came to my house in Nigeria just to, we met, we talked. And that, at that time, she was practicing in Lagos. So I met her. And ever since then, we check on each other, email and all that. And um, one time she said, oh, I'm now in U.S. I'm like, how did you get here? <laughs> you know, so from there she was, um, she got married and uh, her present husband, she ended up going back to school here in America to get her degree in uh, doctorate of optometry. Mm. And um, she even graduated from University of Chicago or somewhere wow. in Chicago, and she invited me to her graduation. But now she's now taking care of me, taking yes. care of my eyes. Yes, <laughs> that is. I great. mean, yes. you know, we we never we doing this just because we just want to impact people. But we never thought that that same person would be back in the U.S. or in a better situation and helping or yeah. donating towards NWAG. And annually, she's been donating to NWAG wow. as well. So, you know, there's so many success stories yes. like that. And we, we're trying to form the alumni so that all the old people that have gone through the mm -hmm. process Recipients. can give back to the community and learn to give back to the community. So last year during the award ceremonies, we invited some of them and they did come. Okay, good. In fact, the, the one award ceremony I went to, you know how they receive their award and then they say whatever their testimony was. Mm -hmm. One of the young ladies won twice. So the first time she used it for her education, the second time she shared it among her classmates That's so right. they could also be impacted. And that's so the, the kind of stories we hear. A lot of the uh, female students, or the students, they're all female, they receive yes. their awards. A lot of them use it for the betterment of their mm -hmm. 
-hmm. If they don't use it towards school, they use it for their families. Right. So yeah. that's really heartwarming. Even just last month, I mm -hmm. don't know if you all remember the email, one of the girls that won last year, she went to an orphanage and bought some items and donated it to the wow. children. She wow. sent the pictures, I don't yes, know if you saw yes. it, email. I was so impressed yes. that she's already learning to give back. Yeah. Because one of the things we said at the uh, ceremony last year was that you'd get him from NWAG, but learn to give back. Give back. Yes. And some of the girls during the ceremony got up and started dropping money in a basket to give back yes. to somebody yes. else, to impact somebody else. And this girl later on even went Father and went and bought some items, pencils, you know, school supply mm -hmm. for the orphanage, and also in her church. Yes. She did something for her church, and I was so impressed yeah. that they're already learning because that's the culture we need to in encourage. In encourage in our younger generation. Mm -hmm. Give back, yes. give back, give yes. back. You or know, pay forward. you don't have to have millions of naira mm -hmm. or dollars to give back. The little you have, if you have ten, give a dollar or two yes. out of yes. it. That that makes um, a big difference. 1% of something is better than 0% 0 0 of nothing. Yes. So, And that is why we implore everyone that's watching this that our June event is our main m fundraising event. Yes. And again, this year is June 20th. And it's going to be um, at the Temple. That's at 1589-1589 Peachtree Street. It's a beautiful place for those of you that, ha that came, attended last year. Thank you so much. And those that have not, please come see what we do. We've given you a sample of what NY mission is, the things that we do. You know, there's power in number. And we're encouraging more people to join us. And we're asking for you all and everyone to please help our cause, help our organization so that we can continue to impact more lives. Teach people to give. Give us so we can continue to give so that others can continue to give and teach others to give as you've seen um, our uh, president and our secretary have said. Now, that brings me to talk a, a bit about our NWAC house. We are growing in number, and we, again, we want to t thank so much Ambassador Jeffrey Tenela for allowing us to uh, meet at the consulate, and he really truly is the only consul general that has allowed us there because the story came to be that we used to meet in libraries because we didn't want to spend the little monies that we're making that we're you know, um, raising. raising, we don't want to spend it on expenses that if we can get anything for free, we definitely can, <laughs> so that we can impact more lives. So, but unfortunately for us, you know, Nigerians, we must make noise, we must laugh loud, and hello, girl, hug, kiss, hug, kiss, and clap, 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 and libraries didn't like us too much. We got kicked out of about 20 libraries <laughs> for either they noise, loud. very loud, either noise. Or no, we're because very we're passionate when we're, we're talking. Very, that's right. <laughs> Leave it to women. <laughs> now, it's either because we, when we're, we were outgrowing the, um, the amount of people that library can take, and that's why the, we solicited the help of the consulate, and they helped us. But be, believe it or not, guess what? We are outgrowing the consulate also. Right now, we're, num we're about we're 80. 70 members. 70, it's going on 80 years. and 90. And I'm hoping that we'll get more members because... More members help us raise more funds so that we can impact more of the things that we're doing. So, and Wag House is very important to us because we don't want to be homeless again. Mm -hmm. And we don't want a situation where we're paying rent somewhere, money that we could use to give more scholarship, to raise more funds for orphanages and for our scholarships here and everything else that we do. So, we're hoping that with this interview that we've done, some people, somebody can just come out and say, here is $5,000. Oh, here's a house. Here's a house. Yeah. We'll take a free one, one that will at least allow us to um, meet, have our events, have some of our, um, we used to have a summer camp where oh, yes. you can Wazobia. drop off your children. It's called Wazobia, and we teach them everything about, they Nigeria. can learn about Nigeria and coconut. We like to you know, get some of those things. It's just that we needed, we always solicited the help of outsiders and sometimes we couldn't find a venue. Now, there's different sponsorships and for the NWAG house. Why don't you decide? And I'd love for somebody to say, here's $50,000. Amen. But Dr. Starr said, here's a house. We'll okay. take it. Yeah, we'll take a house. Uh, for the, we have different categories. We have the Legacy Club. That starts at $25,000. 
And what you get, I'll, I'll read the list of the things you get. You get your name engraved on the wall of the NWAC house, so yes. your name lives forever. We have, you have the opportunity to speak at the NWAC house during the dedication ceremony. We, you have your name listed in our event brochure, and then we keep it as archives. So again, more places for your name. You have free advert, advert on the NWAC website for two years. So imagine what that can do for you wow. if you have a business. We have, or you get a free full page ad in the dedication events brochure. You have VIP sitting at the dedication ceremony. And that's a big deal because our events are always very successful. And then you have discounted rate to utilize the NWAC house. What that means is that if you have an event yourself and you wanted to rent the NWAC house for your event, you get a discount for that. Okay, and the next uh, category is the Keystone Club. And that's between uh, a donation of ten thousand dollars to twenty four thousand ninety nine mm -hmm. or nine hundred and ninety nine. Yeah, okay, and then you get a lot of the same perks, and then it goes down to Vanguard Club for five thousand up to ten thousand dollars, the Visionary Club for twenty five hundred dollars to um, five thousand dollars, and then the Human Humanitarian Club, if I can get that out, is a thousand dollars to twenty four hundred dollars. And then it goes down. We have the conveyor club, that's uh, under $1,000. We have the masonry club, that's under $500. We have the great uh, surveyor club, that's 100 So there's nothing, there's a category there for everyone. So it goes from $10 up to $25,000. So there's nothing you give us that will say, oh, this is too small. Wow. My president. Yes. For those of us that want to, those of you all that want to attend our June event, June 20th, at the temple, you, it's not too late to be a sponsor. I'm trying to find our sponsorship um, levels here. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Our sponsorship page. So you can send, our che send your check and um, definitely give you the address in a few minutes. Yes. The address? No, the, the um, sponsors, okay. the sponsorship For sponsorship, levels. Sponsorship, um, we have all the way to platinum. Platinum is $5,000 and up, over 5000 And then we have the star sponsor, which is um, anything from 1000 to 5000 Gold sponsors is about $1,000 and, and higher. Silver sponsor is $500 and higher. And we have what we call the bronze, which is $300. So you could be sponsor, you could fit into any of this, and every single sponsorship level gets um, free dinner ticket, VIP sponsor tickets, which means your space will be reserved at the event. So please call us. Yes. The number is? 10-496-4380. Okay. We also have a Morning Star, and Morning Star is where you can pick where you want your money to go to. For instance, if you're passionate about your state, and you want a scholarship to go to your state, you can do that. And that's or, $500. Or, and that's $500. Or an orphanage. You, you can, you have a, we have an orphanage. We have 11 orphanages um, in, in, in 11 different states. states yes. Mm -hmm. And um, if you come to our June event, you'll get to see what locations we have so far. But if, you, if it happens to be one of those states and you belong to one of those states, you say, here's $500. I want to give it to my orphanage that you're sponsoring there. That would be wonderful. So, in closing, first of all, I wanted to know if you have anything to say in closing. Um, yes. You know, NWAG, we try to cut down our overhead. That's one of the things that NWAG is very well known for. So, whatever money you donate to NWAG goes to NWAG mission. It doesn't go to me. We don't pay salaries at all. We don't pay for location right now. We don't pay for anything. Everything goes straight to our mission. In fact, our means, children don't even receive the exactly. scholarships. Exactly. Yeah, yes. yeah. Nothing, our children do not benefit from all this, even though the scholarship is here in Georgia. We make sure that none of our children apply for it. So all the monies go straight. I mean, I'll say administrative cost is less Zero. than 10%, uh, 1%. And that's for postage, for um, we printing, don't even, printing and, all, that, yeah. and all of that. But everything else is all straight to the mission. Mm -hmm. So wherever you want us to put your money, your money will go there. And as uh, our hostess said, 
Mrs. Uh, Hostess with the most. Hostess, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have Morningstar. You can tell us exactly where you want the money to go. Orphanage, scholarship, or to medical, medical supply or mm -hmm. medical mission. And it's $500. So there's so many ways you can support NWAG. So please consider donating to NWAG. And the most important thing, NWAG is non-profit. Mm -hmm. We have our 501c3. So it means every penny you donate to us can be deducted in taxes. So please consider putting us on your next, next on your list of associations to donate to. And NWAG is very good for doing what he it says it's going to do. Thank you, and God bless you. Good. And Dr. Starr, do you have anything to add? And what I wanted to add was we have the newsletter. So um, I know you don't doubt us, but we have a newsletter that we report everything that we do. So you see how we're spending our money or your money. Everything is in there. So again, we invite you to our June event this year. We call it the June event uh, because it's always in June. So we invite you again to this uh, month. It's on the 20th. It starts at 7 p.m. Sharp. Again, sharp. We're always on time. So thank you so much for all our sponsors out there. Thank you for my beloved sisters that work so hard. And we look forward to seeing you on June 20th. Yes. Mm. So ladies and gentlemen, we thank you so much for lending us your ears this evening. Remember, there's power in number. If any of our women out there that are Nigerians or Nigerians by marriage, please, you're welcome to join us. We want all available hands on deck that fit and meet the criteria. Now, it is very important what we're doing. We're giving back. We're in America. We're enjoying this wonderful country called the United States. But we mustn't forget our country. Everybody has a duty to our country. We and why we chose underprivileged women and children. That is our mission, to see how best we can help them. And you, we can only help them if you can help us. And I'm sure that once they receive this help, we're also teaching them to give back to their community. It becomes a chain effect. It becomes a domino effect. So please donate to NWAG. Our organization website is nwag.org, nwag.org. All of our information is there. You can donate there as well, correct? Yes. Sir. Very good. And buy our ticket. If you have not attended our event before, please make this your first so that you'll be impressed. Most of our our uh, attendees have been coming for years. I, tr I be believe me, once you've attended the first one and you've seen what we've done, these beautiful women, women with hearts, you will continue to come back as our, uh, most of our attendees that are always supporting us. And those that have been supporting us, thank you. Don't thank stop, you. continue to, to, to support us. God will replenish you. God will continue Amen. to bless you so you can continue to be a, yes, a blessing to NY. Yes. Thank you all. Thanks for listening and have a blessed night. that we're about to hear about tonight. The Nigerian Women Association of Georgia. Hey. Women full of intelligence, caliber, and integrity. But most importantly, these are women who are giving back to their country, giving back to this country, giving back to the underprivileged women and children. Hey. applause. Hey. Fifteen years of service. And still count. Give yourself another round of applause. That is phenomenal. Women staying together for 15 years and accomplishing great things. Give yourself another round of applause. That's a great feat. That's a great accomplishment. So, my president. Yes. Why don't, let's take us 15 years back how this great organization came to be. 
Okay, 15 years ago, Mrs. Dayokeshi, who was the Consul General's wife at the time, they were posted in Atlanta. And she came up to about five ladies and said, you know what, let us start an organization that we can give back to the less privileged. And we were all very excited. We were very excited about this because we've never done anything like this in Atlanta. Just women coming together. And uh, I called some of my friends and the other four ladies called their friends. And now NWAG is a household name. Since then, a lot of members, hardworking members, you know, people that are determined to do more for the less privileged have joined the organization. And we're close to 80 members and still wow. counting. <laughs> wow. And speaking of membership, can somebody just walk up and join, or what are the criteria for being a member? I'll, I'll have that question for Dr. Starr. Dr. Starr. Dr. Starr. Okay, yes. thank you. Anyway, the criteria is, uh, we have a very rigorous criteria. You have to observe any interested Nigerian born female or married to a Nigerian. You have to observe four meetings. And we also have the membership, um, uh, what do you call it again? Committee. The membership committee takes care of that. So you have to observe four meetings and then uh, get to know NWAC. That's a very good thing to have. So during the get to know NWAC, that's when you have questions answered. Any kind of question, any question you have about NWAC, anything that you want clarified about NWAC. So that's done during the get to know NWAC. And we have the orientation as well. Orientation is very important. We're not just making it difficult. We work very hard. So we want to be sure that you... Then please join in too, Dr. Starr. Um, what are, who are some of the people, where are some of our monies going to okay. that we raise? Um, actually, it goes to several places. And one of the things we did consciously was that we're not just taking all the money to Nigeria. We also do a lot of, we support a lot of um, non-profit here in Atlanta, and we have seven of them that we support. And they are Southside Medical mm -hmm. Center, mm -hmm. Sickle Cell Foundation, International Women's House, Jose Feed the Hungry, MedShare International, Atlanta Food Bank, and last year we added Susan G. Coleman wow. to it. And then in Nigeria, we do support, we give scholarship to one female student in every single state, which is 36 states plus the federal capital territory. So we give 37 scholarships every year. And this year, NWAG is embarking on his own first medical mission. Yay! Give we, yourself yes. a round of applause. We're yes. going to be going to Oshun State, and we've been invited by Oshun State, so we'll be there this year. And after that, we go to Abuja to have a... Uh, Award ceremony. award ceremony and we also support 11 orphanages in nigeria now as of 2014 we added one more wow to so go we're busy. busy go and wag and that's why one really has to think is this the right time for me mm -hmm. now i know you mentioned the medical mission i also know that we assist med share and we also ship containers yes. what's our number how many containers and what's the worst right about now dr star I think we've shipped over a million dollars worth of medical wow. supplies to Nigeria. Wow. Yes. And, that is, and that's about how many states? I think we've hit about 11, 11 or so. states. 11, 11 states, states so already. Yes. And we're still taking in um, applications for more states. And our but goal yes. is to reach every state in Nigeria. Yes. All so 36 plus goal. the federal capital. Yes. Correct. Now, how do we raise our funds? I know we have the June event. How? What, what are our expectations? How much do we, do we actually average per year? Mm -hmm. And where do we really want to get to? Okay. Uh, uh, annual fundraising effort, we raise up to over $100,000 now. In one year. In, in one, one year. year. Mm -hmm. Wow. And uh, most of the funds is um, mainly distributed to all the different charities that I mentioned earlier and all the different projects okay. that we have. And we try, we're also trying to raise funds for what we call the NWAG house. Mm -hmm. And we're hoping that sometime this year or early next year will be a reality mm -hmm. because we've been doing this for almost over four years and we've raised some money, but we're not quite there yet. So, um, so that NWAG can have a house yes, where we can place. go have mm -hmm. our meetings and we An are, event. you know, right now 
We'd like to also um, recognize the Consul General of Nigeria, Ambassador Tenny Labe. He's been yes. wonderful. Very wonderful. And uh, we do meet there monthly. At the consulate. At the consulate mm -hmm. office in, in Sandy Springs, Georgia. He's actually the only Consul General that has allowed us to even have our meetings there. Yes, that's, that's correct. And he's been very, very warm to NWAG because he, saw, he sees what we're doing and he's a great supporter of NWAG. And we want to get to a point that we have our own place where we can meet and hopefully maybe do some of our fundraising efforts there as well. So, in closing, first of all, I wanted to know if you have anything to say in closing. Um, yes. You know, NWAG, we try to cut down our overhead. That's one of the things that NWAG is very well known for. So whatever money you donate to NWAG goes to NWAG mission. It doesn't go to me. We don't pay salaries at all. We don't pay for location right now. We don't pay for anything. Everything goes straight to our mission. In fact, our children don't even receive the exactly. scholarships. Here. Yes. Yeah, yeah, nothing, our children do not benefit from all this, even though the scholarship is here in Georgia. We make sure that none of our children apply for it. So all the monies go straight. I mean, I'll say administrative cost is less Zero. than 10, uh, 1%, and that's for postage, for um, we printing, don't printing and, all, that, yeah. and all of that. But everything else is all straight to the mission. Mm -hmm. So wherever you want us to put your money, your money will go there. And as uh, our hostess said, Mrs. Uh, hostess with the most. Hostess, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have Morning Star. You can tell us exactly where you want the money to go. Orphanage, scholarship, or to medical, medical supply or mm -hmm. medical mission. And it's five hundred dollars. So there's so many ways you can support NWAG. So please consider donating to NWAG. And the most important thing, NWAG is nonprofit. Mm -hmm. We have our five hundred one c three. So it means every penny you donate to us can be deducted in taxes. So please consider putting us on your next next on your list of associations to donate to. And NWAG is very good for doing what he says he's going to do. Thank you, and God bless you. Good. And Dr. Starr, do you have anything to add? And what I wanted to add was we have the newsletter. So um, I know you don't doubt us, but we have a newsletter that we report everything that we do. So you see how we're spending our money or your money. Everything is in there. So again, we invite you to our June event this year. We call it the June event uh, because it's always in June. So we invite you again to this uh, month. It's on the 20th. It starts at 7 p.m. And sharp. again, sharp. We're always on time. So thank you so much for all our sponsors out there. Thank you for my beloved sisters that work so hard. And we look forward to seeing you on June 20th.